IBM 5224 printer. 1980. This foam is dead. I get new foam inserts for there. But the interesting thing here is it actually powers up. For the loud beast. Takes a standard power connection, that's why it's powering up. A little bit chipped off here. No biggie for 1980 status. Looks like it just needs a really good clean out and it'll be good to resell. I've seen one of these go for 200. Although, whether or not it was working or whether or not it will sell is another thing. Sharp button works offline can I test it I guess not this gives you what all the codes mean. Nine is graphic check. Plug it into a computer. So, yep. This thing works. As far as I can tell. It's just really, really dirty. So, here's the main part of the IBM. All the important bits are in here. This whole thing opens up to show that there's no more connection boards on the back. These control boards here need to be, well this one just needs to be taken back out and um, realigned, but they all have to be um, cleaned because again, 1980s foam is not gonna hold it for more than a few years. And considering this is 30 years old, I think they need a good cleaning. None of the caps here have exploded yet, so that's a good sign. Although it's missing a power filter, I believe, so that'll be annoying to replace. This is, oh, this is a power filter. Look at those capacitors, wow. This opens up. Show you a bunch of registry codes and things to check. Power on button here, load button there, and then you have a standard key thing here to show normal, locked, or service. And apparently, it's in service mode right now, so that makes sense. Now, back over here. There's not really much to show. Just a big old power supply here and the main power switch. Still moves, but sort of reluctantly. Just needs some use in it, I guess. This bit here comes off. It would have a clip here, but it broke off. So it just opens up on its own now. Here is an 8 in a, no, it's just a plain old 8 inch floppy drive or floppy disk. That's an IBM diskette thing there. Under the printer is a single 8 inch floppy, which is weird because you could get an optional um, 8 inch cartridge thing for this so that a cartridge of 10 disks would be used. So that it would switch and make backups easier, I guess. But now the fun part, these two hard drives. They're both 10 inches, I believe. There's a bee, th a little bee nest thing, long dead on top of this fan, I believe it was. Has some spider webs and it needs to be cleaned out. But other than, than that, that's just basically all this is, is a big clean-out project. 
that's locked into place. These two drives are already hooked up. And this is saying, don't kill your hands. Hey look, IBM Tennis R showing you how to take it off. Yeah, if someone upgraded from IBM 10 SRs to whatever these are. So, yep. There we, there we go. IBM, System 36. I need to find a socket for this. And I probably need to replace the end here. Which is a simple thing to do, really. Or just get some elect electrical tape. This will need a lot of work to get all this junk out of the gears and stuff. But yep, this here's how the um, floppy disk sketch drive would work. Takes one, closes. Also, I found a date. 3-29-83, so by the 29th of March this month, it will be 30 years old. Or is it 31? I don't know. I can't math. But yep. Printer works. Floppy disk sketch drive. Good condition. Whole thing. A little bit dirty, but in good condition. It's missing disk 1D. I need to find some IBM disks. So I need to find a power for this, and then I need to switch this into normal operation and not service operation.